Today I'm going to do some grid journaling. So I'm uh, working in a sketchbook. I just want to um, try out some colors and compositions. I made myself this little stencil and just made some squares on this paper. It's a way to um, just do a lot of little paintings without thinking a lot about it and just work out some ideas. And um, so I'm going to start with just some scribbles, just letting my, just not even thinking about it, not even worried about staying in the lines. This is a Stabilo pencil. That's how I started, and I'm going to... As always, I'm going to use matte medium and activate the Stabilo pencil and just, again, just touch each one. It's just a way to start kind of abstract. And get some marks on each square. I love that already, and it's just so abstract, but it's just when you play in with art, it does not have to be like a great drawing. It's just fun to make marks, just like when we were kids, and you weren't even thinking about it. You just threw on whatever colors and marks, and I love children's art. Um... So now I've got a dark green, and I'm, I'm just going to pick a spot, maybe not even in each, every one. I'm kind of thinking of this as a whole, so I'm just going to throw some greens in here and there. Do some marks. See a spot that needs something. I'm just trying to think of the overall all right so I've got some greens in now I'm going to do some teal I love green and teal together so let's see Some right here, just wherever. Let's see here, 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 here. Put some by that green. Doesn't have to be in every one. I like that already. Now I'm going to take a much, add a ton of white and take a really light teal. Not, try not to think about it too much. It's easy to get bogged down and just kind of looking around where you might need. Just think looking at each one and just maybe touching it here or there. Okay. I like that. Now you might say, what is it? It's not anything. It's just uh, just some abstract squares with some colors I like. Now I'm wondering if um, I should try to put, I love doing sheep. And I could actually uh, work some sheep into this. So we'll just try it, just for fun. Again, I'm going to take my Stabilo and just kind of pick one like right there. 
and just scribble a shape in. Just gonna scribble his little body, his little face, and give him some give him some legs. what he looks like. I'll take my matte medium again. he dries we can uh, carve him out a little bit better but he's cute let's um let's, let's put one right here let's see if I kind of see something right there his little dark face and his ears Very loosely put in his little face. Little legs. Paint's a little too wet, but that's okay. Because we're, we're gonna. One here. Two, three, four. Let's put one down here. Kind of scribble them in. Put two in this one. Oh, I'm not just looking for a little spot one might fit. Switch it up, put his face on this side. I like the um, randomness of the teal and the green and then the marks behind it so it's just like I said just playing with shapes and colors I love doing paintings of sheep but I tend to uh, tend to do the same thing over and over so this is just a little exercise and maybe I can come up with with uh, something else that I like now 
know if I want to, I can uh, get a little bit of white. Get a really, really light teal. Touch, touch into some of these. Maybe start to carve them out a little bit. He's already white. Oh, there's one. He's already. Looks like two of them right here. By working on so many at one time, you end up not uh, thinking about it too much. You just um, touch here and there and don't um, work, on, work one to death by just laboring on it. I'm just getting ideas to see if I like these colors. I do. I think that's so cool. It needs a lot more, um, well, I think I could, uh, carve the sheep out more, but I mean, it already to me reads sheep. So I'm just going to touch just here and there to little carve their little faces out. Maybe just uh, just trying to get the shape of their face and just touch here and there. A little teal sheep. You can put some uh, white, kind of carve their legs out a little bit. Made some gray that's kind of cool. I like the gray in it. Yeah, so you could just keep, you could add more color. Keep carving the sheeps out. Add more color behind them to give more contrast. Just keep touching here and there. I'm trying to uh, just touch here and there without losing the greens and teals. I like the way this one has a little, I put a horizon line in. I think I'm going to add a horizon line into some more of them. I'm going to make him a little lighter so that 
the background stands out. I'm just going to hit here and there. I'm going to touch him with the back of my pencil. Get his face a little more. There he is. I like that in the back and this little light teal there and whatever that is, it just It's interesting because you have to decide like when you get it to a point where you like it and it's very easy to just keep on until you've I like that one with a little bit of teal in him and he's got his like a touch right between his legs. He's got his little legs showing. I like the teal and green. Let's see, I can shake him up a little bit and then he's cute. I like this one. I like that one. That's interesting. I'm not sure what is going on here, but I could uh, make his legs stand out a little bit more. and He needs, I think it would be cool if his face showed up a little better. So I'll just, like I said, these are very abstract, obviously. But I love the way it started with just the random black mark and then just a splotch of color. I've been seeing a lot of artists do these uh, grid journals um, with different just abstracts and different stuff like that and um, a lot of them reference Kelly Wynn. She, she gives a free class so I popped over there and and I think she, I, I took the class and it was like an abstract uh, creative crush or color crush. But Kelly Wynn, she, uh, she does some really interesting stuff. And this, this grid journal was one of them. And uh, and like I said, I've seen other artists do it and then reference her, but everybody's kind of got their own take on it. And, uh, yeah, so I think I'll stop right there, but I like the direction it's going. I, um, I love the little sheep. I love the green and teal together. It was fun doing just a ton of them together because, like I said, I wasn't thinking too much. That one's cool. It looks like it's in a... I love the marks that it left behind them. So anyway, it's fun to just play. It doesn't always have to be trying to create a masterpiece. Sometimes it's just um, doing something messy and uh, making marks and... and just seeing what you come up with. But I love these and uh, thank you for watching.